Who offers the best Amazon profit analytics software for beginner brands heading into 2024? Sellerboard, My Real Profit, or somebody else? Let's find out. If you're new to this channel, my goal is to bring you full transparency to the entire Amazon software space. In the Profit Edition alone, we've done over 60 free hours of demos with no less than 30 software providers looking at a total of precisely 100 useful features. Now, for each of these features, I examined exactly how well they offer it. They either get a no, a partly, a okay, a yes, a good, or a super. And that is of course all relative to how the other providers are offering that particular feature. In the end, each feature has their own set amount of points it can give, which is then multiplied by a specific factor for each tool, depending on how well it's implemented. As none of these features are equally important to everyone, we actually need different scoring systems to rank these tools. And although I'm not showing all of these systems here on YouTube, I am at least trying to make it as easy as possible for startup brands, because as we all know, these first steps are always the hardest part. And for those of you that are already past that stage, you might wanna check out the Amazon Ads scaling system on my website, which will help you educate yourself or your team on every single Amazon ad strategy out there, as well as get all my templates that I use personally to manage my ads and these software overviews, including all scoring systems to really get going on Amazon with the right tools. All right, guys, we are live now. So before that, that was actually a little video that I recorded just before, and now we're live. So if you happen to be live, you can ask questions as always, and then, we are going to have a look at these tools and especially at Sellerboard and how it features against My Real Profit. As you may know, <clears throat> my last big profit software overview was back in 2021, right? And now we wanna see who has really evolved, who has been working on these features. And the first tools we looked at two weeks ago were My Real Profit and KPOC, and they both soared to the top of the league. But of course it wasn't, you know, fully, let's say, meaningful because some of the favorites from two years ago, we haven't checked on in a while, but I did check on uh, Celeboard now. And so that is kind of the first real test of my real profit and KPOC to see if their point score is actually, you know, meaningful or will my real or will Celeboard, you know, right, take them over right again right away again we shall see right and so if you're again if you're among the people seeing this live feel free to comment and i'll you know try to answer your questions and if you're among the people who are seeing the replay welcome to you guys as well then of course you can also ask your questions in the comments and i will answer later on okay so we're gonna go into the top 15 now so here we are with, you know, connect books, very interesting tool, uh, especially if you want to, you know, also have invoices and stuff covered. Then we have okay, shopkeeper, strangely enough, a very popular tool among sellers on Twitter. I've never really found out why it might be because of their little images that they use for your products. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's like little animal images. Check it out. It's kind of weird, but I guess sellers like it. Then, okay, Ava, Sellerize, Entourage. We're getting into the, uh, oh, we're already in the top five now. So here we have some of the very top tools already from the last overview. So Entourage, Managed by Stats, Seller Legends, all in the top five in the last overview in 2021. And now we're going to find out if Celeboard is maybe only third or if they went back to the top, right? And before I show you, let me just 
you know, ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really helps me out and it helps me in the algorithm and it helps me, you know, move forward with this project. So thanks to everybody who has been supporting me along this way. And yeah, let's show you the top free tools now, starting with KPOC. Okay, so we already know Celeboard is ahead of KPOC, back in the top two at least. And now let's uh, show you the scores actually. Should have done that before. We are, by the way, above 160 points now. So Celeboard, you know, at least covering that many points, at least covering this many features. And let's see who is the number two right now. And we have Celeboard and therefore My Real Profit still at the top, confirming their top status, confirming that they really are you know, they came out of nowhere pretty much two years ago and now they really are right at the top there. And basically, if you can beat Celeboard, then you must be doing things well. You must be, you know, doing a good job. So again, congratulations to My Real Profit keeping their first spot. Now, I just want to point out, does this now mean that every one of you should choose Celeboard? I mean, My Real Profit over Celeboard? No, of course not. Of course, it will still depend on the features that you are looking for. And yes, I would guess all of you kind of want these profit calculation inclusions, right? These are kind of the basics and both of these tools here pretty much cover all the basics. So there won't be much of a difference there. The differences are in other sections. So let's get to that. And one main difference, and this is actually a reason to pick seller board ahead of my real profit, would be the automatic inclusion of social media costs as well as paid search costs, such as Google Ads. So here, as you can see, seller board, uh, obviously <laughs> being one of the very few tools that offer that along with order metrics. So. That is a big reason to pick Celeboard if you, even if you are a startup brand and you happen to have enough budget for, you know, ads on social media, Google ads and Amazon ads, or maybe just social media ads, whatever, then, then yeah, maybe Celeboard is the one to pick, right? Even ahead of my real profit. That's up to you. That's not something I can really tell you how important like social ads are for you. But if they are important at the moment, they would definitely be my pick, right? So you can see your costs on the ASIN level from social media and you really see your total, your real profit that considers, yeah, all your costs, all your marketing costs at least. Okay. But of course there are things that my real profit has and Celebrate doesn't, otherwise they wouldn't have more points. So one of these areas is the sales and comparison, sales and profit comparison analytics area. So here, um, yeah, we have some basic features, I would say, especially PPC versus organic. You want to be able to quickly see, okay, for which of my products am I too dependent on ads or perhaps for which of my products am I not using any ads at all? So, you know, these kind of things are definitely analytics that you want to have. Although, again, I would say maybe not as important for every start startup brand, because if you only have one product, and obviously it's a vague definition, what is a startup brand? Could still be a startup with 20 products. But let's say you only have one product, then I guess you don't really need that. You can just click into your product and see it pretty easily. And so all of these features may be less important. And yeah, again, that's, that's really up to you to kind of know what fits your brand and what makes sense the most, right? So, but in this section, definitely my real profit, definitely, you know, outperforming seller board and pretty much every other tool down here. Um, <clears throat> this section looks pretty even to me. 
Then we have, yeah, it looks pretty even to me as well. Advanced analytics. Here too, my real profit having some more things, although only in partly, partly for new guys over, for the new viewers on, on this channel, um, <clears throat> just means they have it in a very limited way, not really in a very satisfying way, but you could somehow see the data, but yeah, it's not very useful. Let's put it that way. <laughs> But they do have some things here and uh, <clears throat> generally more things than Celeboard. So, yeah, I think those are the main differences. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to point out. Break even ACOS for those of you, maybe sellers that are still doing your PPC on your own. Um, this one is a pretty big one to me. So. I love seeing that break even ACOS right away when I prepare my campaigns for a product. It goes into my campaign name. I always know, okay, this is pretty much how much I can afford in terms of my ACOS. So yeah, that's a pretty big feature. And so yeah, it really comes down to which features you want. Is it these kind of advanced analytics such as break even ACOS, such as <clears throat> um, such as these comparison analytics over here or and I'm not saying that's the only thing that Sellerboard has over my real profit but obviously this external marketing costs inclusion thing is pretty huge in another scoring system this would have far more far more points so maybe you know maybe in another scoring system uh, that alone could make them number one I'm not going to tell you that's something for my course members to know but yeah i'm just you know for you to to know there's no like definite answer okay which one is better obviously nobody can tell you that and in the end of course user interface user experience all that matters and that is something i cannot you know factually give points for so you have to check it out. Does it feel good? Is it easy to use for you? Does it does it make sense to you? So, yeah. But in the end of the day, those two really are the ones that I would check out, right? Also in terms of pricing, very fair it seems to me. Um, KPOC obviously also very high quality, but maybe not so much for you know beginner brands or sellers. They're more geared towards agencies, I believe. So yeah, those two, honestly, right now are, you know, pretty much with distance, the best profit tools right now. You can't really go wrong with any one of them. And clearly they're still building, they're still working on their features. So, you know, anything that's missing will, will be there eventually, it seems. And of course, I have also brought some discount co codes for you or links for you that you will find below. So you get a little bit of a head start there as well and support the channel at the same time. So yeah, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Let me just check my notes here. Um, nope, actually that's it. So, oh wait, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize we are live so we have comments but actually not too many just one comment so far from um max Prajedes, i guess maybe spanish pronounced thank you thank you <laughs> i hope it was helpful and yeah i did actually also prepare one quote from jeff bezos that i didn't really use but here you go if you don't know the details of your business you are doomed to fail, right? And so that just goes to show the importance of having the best possible profit analytics software for your Amazon business. And yeah, I think with these two tools, you will definitely not go wrong. And with that, thanks a lot for watching and subscribe to see how it develops, right? There's still a lot of tools, a lot of favorites from the other overviews in the past years that I'm gonna to have to check on that will then really confirm who is at the top, I suppose. But these are the favorite, these are the favorite ones and I, I don't think they're gonna be beaten to be honest.
but um, we don't know for sure. So stick around to find out. And thanks again for watching. Goodbye.